Hello and welcome to another ZED video. Uh, we busted out Scully again here to go over uh, the human skull again. Remember, this is the only target on a zombie that matters. Everything else is just um, wasted ammunition. Even, even if you maim the uh, zombie, you know, break its leg, uh, shear leg off, whatever, it can still come for you, in theory. So, uh, this is the only target that matters. And, um, Put into, I guess, measurements, if you will. <clears throat> the uh, accepted consensus, the generic uh, average, if you will, of an adult human skull, uh, lengthwise, if you look at it on like this, is around like 22 centimeters or so. Um, and the width of a human skull is around, uh, I would say, 15 to 17 centimeters, with the l length being uh, 20 to 22 or whatever. Um, you, of course, have anomalies, things that are much larger, much smaller, uh, as well as a varying degree inside the uh, the average area, you know, maybe you have 14 width and 24 length, you never know. But that's the general consensus in centimeters. Um, basically, if you take an 8.5 by 11 sheet of pa uh, a letter paper, basically, um, most of that would be a good, uh, would be, if you put it over a skull, would kind of cover the skull. Uh, the extreme edges of it all around would be a uh, miss if you held up the skull directly behind it in terms of shooting it or whatever. But um, this is just, I want to do a little quick uh, update video. ZD is still alive and well. Just during these um, downtimes being the winter, people are sick more often and uh, don't have much time to do things. But uh, we are still here. And I just want to give you that measurement. I forget what the circumference is. Uh, the ones are looking like head on, something like this. Behind, uh, the width should be about the same. The length, in theory, would be the same as it goes down. But, um, yeah, pretty much just focusing on a head on like this is what I'm talking about. Remember, the brain is the main target on this in the head. So, uh, the extreme edges of the, of the skull may not produce a kill for you on a zombie. Um, but yeah, 22 centimeters long, uh, average, and an average of 15 to 17 centimeters wide. Um, hopefully the next video we get to do for you here, we'll be talking about targets in terms of what you can use for target practice, you know, if you go into the range to shoot. And not so much about, um, what brand of target to buy or what style, more of like the size of the target, and some target, um, stand-ins like if you don't have a real paper target what you can use that's safe to use and the ranges will allow you to use so um and we're talking we're keeping in mind the size of the skull here so we're going to talk about targets that pretty much give you a target to shoot at that's roughly um not so much the shape of but the size of a, of a human skull that way you can put it at different ranges see what you're going to be looking at you know, down iron sight, for example, and, like, get a feel for how small a target can be at longer ranges, and things of that nature. And also, uh, when you do hit it, you can be reasonably assured that it's going to be, uh, a lethal hit on a zombie. So, that's pretty much it. Remember, first rule of zombie survival is to be prepared. So, prepare now, uh, have a plan, be prepared, and be safe. Take care.